piece of bread. Let's go get the room. All right. As you see, I just Boy. the ladyfish. Hey, hi. Morning. All right, come on. Let's go get it up. We're almost there. And I'm going to go your bait. And I caught him on a... Let's go get the release. I caught three snook off of Anamorelia Island. Oh, oh, oh. Big egg. <laughs> All right, bro, go for it. Catfish right along the beach over here. And fun fact about these guys actually, on the pectoral fins here and here, and also on the dorsal fin, see that thing right there? That's a poisonous bark. So, if you ever want to handle a catfish that you catch, you either put your hand on the belly and on the tail, or you can just lick it like normal. Everything else, these things are harmless except for the pectoral fins and dorsal fins. These fins down here and those, those do not have any bars, but it's just these things. They will get in you and they are really bad. Okay, so right now we didn't really catch anything at this place, so we're going to move on to Ken Thompson over there. A little blind spider took the wheel. Navigating grass blades completely by field. So right now we switched up locations at Ken Thompson. Right over here. <clears throat> off of the seawall and we're all near these rocks right here so the deal is we're kind of we're kind of going to bury our shrimp we're going to bury the hook into the shrimp so we can drop it into these rocks in case we see like a little snapper or a little grouper take it oh, oh, oh i got a big grouper oh i got a big grouper oh oh i'm just sucking around all right so i just went down there and i caught this little pinfish kind of hooked him Oh, right under the eye. I didn't get him quite in the eye. But that's one point for me. On this. And now I'm going to try and unhook him. And so right now my mom just caught this little mang. Little piece of shrimp. Little circle hook. I would say this is about 8 or 9 inches. Nice fish. She's on the board. So yeah. That's really it. Okay, so right now. I was using a little piece of shrimp caught a nice little spotted pinfish they got tiny little teeth and you can tell if it's a spotted pinfish because <clears throat> they'll have all those pins right there a regular pinfish will have yellows some kinds of blues and you'll know if you have it because you have two black dots right here so that's pretty cool okay so right now I'm in the lead whoa he got off right there. Right now, I'm in the lead. Ah. Uh-huh. These things hurt. Okay, so as I was saying, right now, I'm in the lead. With, with a nice little spotted pinfish. This is not as big as I was catching them as the last one I just caught. And yeah, that's really it. It's how to catch spot pinfish. Okay, so my mom just caught this nice little gag grouper, I believe it is. And we can tell this guy has been caught before. But they couldn't get the hook out because he has an extra line. Like he swallowed this hook really good. 
a long time ago. And so yeah, we're gonna release this guy. He's not big enough to keep. And I don't think they're in season right now, so. Okay, so right now I take the lead again with a little spot pinfish. Smallest one I've caught. Pokey spines. Tiny teeth. That they have teeth like a sheep's head because they're all over these rocks over here. They're all over the rocks, munching on little oysters, little like shrimp that we're using. Yeah, they're just they're just finding whatever they can eat. The ten pounder, look how big it is. This thing is ginormous. No, I'm just joking. The smallest one of the day. Little teeth. Whatever they find, that's what they eat. Four fish for, four pin fish for me. After a long time of not really catching anything, I finally caught one. It's my second fish of the day. Little spotted pin fish. Oh gosh. Um, and there's just one fun fact about pin fish is, and when people go shark fishing, this is usually, this and Bonita are the number one most common shark bait because sharks just eat these things up they in, really do enjoy these things so that's one fact about pinfish and the other thing about them is they're very annoying oh so, yeah here we go got another one so this is my fifth fish oh oh god come back to buddy Oh, you got a friend over there. Want to feed it to that guy? Oh, here, buddy. Here. He's happy. What kind of birdie is that, bro? Um, it's a heron, I'm pretty sure. It's a great blue heron. Yep, great blue heron. All we know is he's happy. brother Miller second caught four fish and that was my mom and first caught eight fish which was me so we had a really good day I had fun with my family and that's really it so yeah hope I hope you enjoy this episode of Fletcher's Fishing 101 see ya